Hi, this is Eric again. So um, now I'll just show you a movie on how to set up the ventilator. So um, the first step is really to start it. So we we'll just press on the power button, okay? You can also make sure that it's connected to the electricity here and also the oxygen source is this one that is um, connected all the way down to the, to the wall. Okay, so like I said, the first step is really to uh, do a function check, okay? So here was the function check, and you also need to make sure that it's connected on the uh, long test. So the long test is usually connect is usually uh, just hanging on the wall next to the machine. Really important that we don't lose it, okay? So once you're done, you just put it back where you took it, because it's usually quite expensive, and also we have to order it from abroad, and it's quite a big uh, problem when we don't have it. Okay, so... Here it says start function check and then we just push here to confirm and basically you want to push on all the buttons here so this all the red becomes green so this one, this one. Okay, so we Okay, so there you go. So it says to replace the vial filter. So we'll just replace it after it. And then it goes into okay. So now the machine is okay to go. So we just press okay. And then like I said earlier, we have the shortcuts to emergency infant, child and adult. If you, the patient somehow is, um, if it's the same patient, you can just go previous patient or you can do a new patient here. And the real cool thing is that you can select here, adult, child, and infant, and then you can enter the height. So let's say it's 1.75 meter, it's a male, then it's gonna calculate for you the ideal body weight. So we'll just confirm it here. And then we go to continue. And then we can choose the mode. So we have bi-level, ASB, PCV, CPAP, PRVC, IPPV, SIPPV, and SIMV. Like I said earlier, uh, the three modes that are of interest for us is the IPPV and SIPPV and the SIMV. So I'm just gonna choose the SIPPV. And then we can go into start ventilation. Okay, so now we have the mode here. Okay, it's always on the right upper um, quadrant. We have the pressure, we have the flow, and we have the CO2. Let's say you want to change the menu. You just go here, and then you can go into curves, and then you can just choose pressure flow, pressure CO2. I like to have the pressure flow and the CO2. Then we just go back and back here. Okay, so there's no CO2 because it's not connected to a patient, okay? And then we have the settings, so usually, puts the patient on zero peep, the tidal volume that has been uh, calculated for the ideal body weight of the patient, the Pmax. So this is the pressure max. This is not the plateau pressure. And then you have the frequency and the inspiratory and expiration uh, ratio. And then if you want a shortcut, you can just go into 100% FiO2. It's right here. But if you want to titrate it, you can just press on FiO2 here and then just kind of like choose the oxygen concentration. So let's say we're going to uh, 40% just to save some oxygen. And then that's it, okay? So we have the alarm, okay? So to adjust the peep, it's easy. You just rotate this and then you can confirm, let's say to five. And then we confirm here. If you wanna play with the tidal volume, same thing. And then you confirm here, the pressure, uh, uh, pressure max. And then if you wanna change the frequency, you just confirm it. So if you want to do a plateau pressure, uh, you have to do a bit of um, magic. So you go into the menu button, and then you go into advanced uh, ventilation parameters, okay? And then what you want to do is you want to do some plateau time, okay? And then you can go here, and then you can make like a 15% uh, kind of like plateau, um, sorry, inspiratory pause. And then you go here, and then you go back. And then basically what you're gonna see is that on the screen, 
whenever there's uh, there's some pressure, there's like the shark's fin, and then there's a small kind of like decrease, and this is gonna be your plateau pressure, kind of like this inspiratory pause. So as we can see in this one, the plateau, the pressure is about what? Let's say 20, and then the small mark is maybe around, let's say like 15 or 17. Okay, so this is how you do the uh, plateau uh, pressure. I'm not sure how to know what's the exact number, okay? As of now, I can only look at, at the graph, okay? But we can roughly estimate that it's well below uh, 30 of uh, plateau pressure. So we're in the, the, the safe zone for this patient. And now if you wanna shut down the machine, you can either just press once and then it's, it's more gonna be like a, like a sleep mode. But if you really wanna shut it down, you have to hold it for about five seconds until the red light is shut down. And if it was just for a uh, function check, then you can just uh, unconnect the easy long and you just put it back on the wall where it was.